Welcome to the 21st meeting of Session 6 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Before we move to the first item on the agenda, I would like to remind everyone present to switch their mobile phones to silent. Under the first agenda item, we are considering an instrument subject to the affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the following draft instrument. The Advice and Assistance Summary Criminal Proceedings, Miscellaneous Amendment, Scotland, Regulations 2022. Is the committee content with this instrument? Under agenda item number two, we are considering six instruments subject to the negative procedure. Issues have been raised on three of these instruments for failure to lay them in accordance with the requirements under section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010. The 2010 Act requires that instruments subject to the negative procedure be laid at least 28 days before they come into force, not counting recess periods of more than four days. The first instrument is SSI 2022-212, the Public Health etc. Scotland Act 2008, Notifiable Diseases and Notifiable Organisms, Amendment Regulations 2022. The instrument amends the Public Health etc. Scotland Act to add monkeypox to the list of notifiable diseases and to add the monkeypox virus to the list of notifiable organisms. This will trigger duties on registered medical practitioners and laboratories to share specific information with health boards where they have reasonable grounds to suspect that a person they are attending to has monkeypox or where the virus is detected during testing. The information will also be shared to the Common Services Agency and Public Health Scotland. The instrument was laid on the 16th of June 2022 and came into force later that day. In correspondence with the presenting officer, the Scottish Government explained that a breach of the lane requirement had been necessary to ensure that registered medical practitioners and diagnostic laboratories will be placed under a duty to report incidences of the disease so that health boards can consider whether they need to use any of the powers under the 2008 Act. The second instrument is SSI 2022-213. The National Health Service charges to overseas visitors Scotland Amendment No. 2, Regulations 2000, sorry, 2022. The instrument amends the NHS charges to overseas visitors Scotland Reg Regulations 1989 by adding monkeypox to the list of diseases so overseas visitors can be diagnosed and provided uh, treatment for monkeypox without charge. The regulations also correct one of the names already on the list of diseases. <coughs> the instrument was also laid on the 16th of June 2022 and came into force later that day. In correspondence with the presenting officer, the Scottish Government explained that a breach of the line requirements had been necessary to ensure that there is no financial barrier to receiving treatment for monkeypox so that overseas visitors are not deterred from seeking treatment and thus reducing the risk to public health from symptomatic visitors. The Scottish Government also explained that the provisions will provide clarity to those who are responsible for making and recovering charges. The last instrument which breaches the 28-day rule is SSI 2022-214, the Sheriff Court Fees Amendment Order 2022. This instrument corrects errors identified by the Scottish Government in SSI 2022-181, the Sheriff Court Fees Order 2022, which was considered by the Committee at its meeting on the 14th of June 2022 as part of a package of instruments which made provision in respect of court fees. The order amends some of the prescribed fees by increasing them by between £1 and £33. It also corrects a more significant error, which would have resulted in a person paying a fee of more than £100 for any actions for payment of money over £200. This was not the intention of the instrument, so the amendment increases that figure to £300, and therefore those actions for payment of money up to £300 will pay an associated fee of around £20. The instrument was laid on Tuesday the 21st of June 2022 will come into force on Friday the 1st of July. In correspondence with the presiding officer, the Scottish Government explained that a breach of the line requirements had been necessary to correct errors identified in SSI 2022-181. So in relation to SSIs 2022-212, 213 and 214, does the committee wish to draw the instruments to the attention of the Parliament under reporting ground J? for failure to comply with lane requirements. Yes. And at the same time, this can be content for the Scottish Government's explanations provided uh, for the breach of the lane requirements for 212 and 213. Yes. 
And for 214, does the committee wish to ask the Minister for Parliamentary Business for more details uh, regarding the, the errors that, that were identified at the time? Also, under this agenda item, no points have been raised on SSI's 2022, 206, 209 and 210. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes, yes. In relation to SSI 2022, 206, these regulations correct a minor error in the Rural Support Controls Coronavirus Scotland Regulations 2022, SSI 2022, 107, following questions by this committee. The error highlighted by the committee has been resolved by the regulations before us this morning. Under agenda item number three, we are considering instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised on SSI's 2022-208 and 211. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. Okay. And so the next meeting of the committee will take place on Tuesday, the 6th of September. Until then, can I thank members uh, for their commitment? Uh, and diligence over the past year and I uh, hope you managed to get some type of break over the summer recess and uh, with that I will formally close the meeting. <laughs>